Hello everyone and welcome to Nancy's Magic Touch and DIYs. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Nancy and welcome. And if it's not, well, thank you so much for coming back. In today's video, I'm doing three um, simple projects. Um, these are items from the thrift store that I transform. Some of them are very easy. The other one a little bit more elaborate, but the result is fantastic. So without any further ado, grab a nice warm cup of tea and let's get started. I found this beautiful wall rack. This is to hold dishes. Back in the days, a lot of people used to have these. And I found this very convenient if you have like a small space, like a, a cottage or a tiny house, just to have everything kind of compact. The first thing I'm going to do is remove these wooden pegs. Um, these are to hold the mugs and they're really outdated and they're not working out for me. So um, they are screwed on the back so I'm simply going to unscrew them and take them off. I find this top part also outdated, so I am going to remove this um, as well. I'm taking the top part off uh, so that I can have easier access to remove uh, that top board. Now I'm just taking a scraper actually to get rid of some of this paint that's stuck to the back of this the best I can. Now I want to hide these holes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hide every holes that I don't want to see in this piece and I'm going to use some wood filler to do that and let it dry and then I'm going to sand it off. I gave this piece a light sanding um, all over and now I'm going to go ahead and spray paint it with some of this um, white chalk paint. It's called uh, white linen, the color, and I am going to give it three coats of this paint using my sprayer handle. If you don't have one of these, uh, get yourself one. They're really handy and makes the job much easier. I'm taking the top part of my display that I unscrewed from the top earlier because I want to uh, make another top for it as I find this a little bit, um, I don't know, it needs a little touch. I find it kind of cheap looking. So I'm going to actually uh, take some of uh, wood that I have left over in my garage and it's got little grooves on here. I like that, it gives it a little bit of detail. So I am going to create a top for the display. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, measure the board and cut these pieces of wood. So my wood is all cut. I cut enough to make like a shelf and then the other little part is kind of a, a backboard uh, for the display. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take these board and give it a good coat of my favorite stain. It's um, called Alexandria in the color and the stain is by uh, Benjamin Moore. Thank you. 
And now I'm just going to go ahead and put the top back in place. So now my stain is nice and dried and so I'm going to go ahead and put these board in place and I'm going to apply some wood glue um, to adhere this to my board. Now I'm going to use some clamps to make sure that this glue is nice and tight to the board and I'm just going to leave this be uh, overnight to make sure that this uh, wood glue uh, dries really nice. I had purchase these hooks um, to put on this board. I wanted something more modern and of course the uh, black hooks are always a good idea. But uh, now I actually changed my mind because of these two holes in this actual hook and I have already a hole into the board and the hole is actually too big for the screws that fit in these hooks. So um, option number two it is. Also because of the two holes in these hooks, it would have made it uneven um, and that didn't work for me as well. The holes wouldn't have been centered to the board and uh, yeah, that, would, that wouldn't have looked right to me. So I picked up these other hooks. Uh, they're actually from the dollar store, but they are very nice and sturdy. They are like solid metal. And I am going to go ahead and use some E6000 glue, but also I'm going to use some hot glue for the instant hold. And I'm gonna let this cure very well. Now I'm going to go ahead and place two of these uh, hanger hooks on the back of my board. I can see a little bit of that wood glue right there uh, in that space and it's bothering me and it's too small to go sand it so I'm just going to go ahead with a small paintbrush and use that same uh, color uh, chalk paint that I have on hand and just paint that. And I'm going to protect this piece with this clear uh, matte uh, protector and I'm going to give three coats of this allowing to dry in between. And this is the final result. It's a nice updated piece now that fits our modern world but it's also a very nice a farmhouse kind of look as well which I love. 
I got these little wooden tags um, from the dollar store. I'm going to go ahead and take three of them and I am going to paint them with my white chalk paint, that same color as that beautiful board. And um, I'm going to dry it with my hair dryer so I can speed up the process and keep moving on. Now I'm taking some of my stamps that I have on hand and I am going to make label with these uh, little tags. So I'm going to take my acrylic block and place my letters onto this acrylic block and I'm going to make sugar, coffee and tea. And I am going to use uh, some stays on permanent um, ink to um, do these little labels. Now, in order to spell the word coffee, I'm going to need to use some letters twice. So I'm only going to apply one letter at a time. I'm going to take some jute rope and I am actually going to use some wooden beads that I already uh, stained the same color as that board. Uh, these were already pre-stained for another project but it turned out to be the exact same stain so it worked for me. So I am going to cut a piece of um, this jute, actually they are pre-cut for me, and I am going to... Um, apply this uh, rope into uh, the tag and I am going to place um, some beads um, onto these tags but I'm going to do a little bit different. One tag will have uh, one bead, the other one will have two and the other one will have three and the reason for that is because um, I have different sized jars that I'm going to apply these tags to. Now I'm taking these beautiful jars that I found at the thrift store and I'm going to put my tags on it. I simply wrap the rope around and tie a knot out back and just cut uh, the extra rope.
And here is the result. How cute are these little jars? They are so clean looking. They are small. They are very compact, I find. And I love, love the look of these little jars. These little tags are just perfect for them. I got this little planter uh, as well and it's very pretty as it is but I'm just going to add to it. I only paid 50 cents for this piece so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some plaid ribbon that I have on hand simply wrap it around and hot glue it to the back. I'm going to take some jute rope and I'm going to wrap that around twice around the jar but I'm going to leave a long tail on each end and I'm going to tie out front with a knot. Now I'm simply going to add some wooden beads to the end of this rope and tie it with a knot on the bottom and I'm going to actually uh, make the lint uneven just to give it a better, uh, a better look. And here is the result. I didn't do much to this piece at all. I just added some ribbon, rope, and beads, but I think it makes a big difference to this piece. And here are my three projects put together. I actually went and got some black and white dishes to give me that nice farm house look that I like so much. And I decided to put some bowls on top instead of that little planter as I kind of wanted to have all the dishes ready on hand and very compact. I love the clean look of this piece. Um, everything, uh, to my opinion, match perfectly. This is a perfect piece to put into a cottage, like I said, or a tiny home, or simply somebody with a very uh, small kitchen. Um, this is very convenient for that. Also, the little jars on top is just the perfect size to have everything close by and handy. Well, that's it for this video, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed transforming, especially that wall plate rack. I'm really in love with that item. I want to hear all your comments down below. And if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. I really need that to help me grow in my channel. And if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel and you like what I'm doing, well, please hit that subscribe button. That also really Really helps me to grow. So until next time folks, thank you for watching and have yourself a wonderful day.